Hey dolls, welcome back. Today we're talking about a subject that really all ages should be talking about, but particularly we Gen X dolls and boomer dolls, and that is how to avoid and reverse tech neck. So if you're not really familiar with the term tech neck, you're gonna learn a lot today. And I'm gonna give you lots of tips with things to do to avoid tech neck, things that you can purchase with links below, and a bonus tip at the very end, so be sure that you watch all the way through. All right, let's get started. So what is Tech Neck exactly? Well, if we're looking down at our laptop or our computer keyboards or even down at our cell phone, hence the tech. This has been such an issue across the board for years now, and we're wondering, what's going on here? Why am I getting folds? What's with my gobble? What's with the jowls? Hello, gravity. A lot of things are happening, and we don't even realize it because we've gone from this and talking face to face to this and talking in our cell phones. And when we do that, you can see what's happening here. Now, as a woman in her 50s, I can tell you that I have actually been really cognizant of not only what I do for my skin, but what I do for my neck and decollete for years. Actually, long before I even hit my 40s. But I'm going to share a couple of tips with you that I've personally been doing for years. And just to give you an idea, my neck is pretty good. I'm, you know, there's always something that you find on yourself. But when I look at other women my age, there's a lot of times I see, you know, more folds or something happening right here. And it's really just a matter of being cognizant of how you're holding yourself. If you're going to have a cell phone in your hand, how to do it. If you're gonna be working at your computer, how to do it. Things that keep your face elevated and essentially keeps your neck long. We want to avoid the folding. So my first tip is something that I have been doing for years and it's been through different products, but I use a very, very hydrating moisturizer and I use a moisturizer for the body. Now, I don't use a facial moisturizer on my neck. I'll use serums, but I love a really good hydrating moisturizer for my neck and what I would normally use on my body. So I have been using recently the Ucern Advanced Repair Cream. So I love that it is a dermatological skincare right out of the gate. It's fragrance free, and this is gonna be a key point in just a moment. And the Ceramide 3 is a great, great ingredient. And just to let you know, here's what the Ceramide 3 does. It strengthens the skin's protective moisture barrier. That means it's locking in the moisture and it's protecting it so that it's not losing the moisture and becoming dry. That's really key. As we know with our face, the more moisture, right, the plumper we are, it's the same with the neck area. And then it also has alpha hydroxy acid, AHA. And this aids in the reduction of wrinkles it softens strong defined lines, and it improves the overall look and the feel of the skin. That's huge because when you're talking about a maintenance, which I'm doing, I'm maintaining how my neck is, but if you do have lines that are starting, and you can see that I do because I think we all nod our head yes periodically and we do get those folds, but if they are a little bit deeper on you, you can actually start reversing that with a product like this that involves the alpha hydroxy acid. Caveat is this, it can actually cause sunburn, so you really wanna be sure that you follow that up right away with a really great SPF. And I wear a 50, 
Um, 30 would work. I always think the higher the better, but you definitely wanna do that. So paired with your great moisturizer that I use on the daily and before I go to bed, you want to use an SPF for your daytime. Now another thing that I do and have only been doing for the last few years is I like to do masks. I used to do the masks that you actually would put on, you know, paint on your face. I would bring it down on my neck, on my decollete, but now you can actually get sheet masks. And recently I found one that I actually really like. This is a bonus product because it's a product in bulk. And if you didn't see my recent video on what I found at the Dollar Tree in bulk, you are going to be in for a surprise. And this is one of them. Spa Life Exhilarating Neck Mask with Pearl and CoQ10 comes in three packets in this box for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Now, if you keep thinking that you need to spend a fortune on beauty products to get the best results, think again. This is absolutely a myth. Now, I do spend money on some of my skin products and beauty care, and then there's stuff that I don't really do that. I like some of the options that I get that are a little less expensive, a better deal. Obviously, beauty for a buck is always a bonus, particularly when it comes in bulk. But these neck masks are great. The Pearl and the CoQ10, it's anti-aging. It firms and hydrates by penetrating deep below the skin surface and locking in extreme hydration. That's really key. Again, we have our neck showing, unless you're in a turtleneck that day or a scarf, always showing to the elements and it can be a drier part of your body if you're not taking care of it so you want to lock in that moisture now again you want to use your spf on your neck regardless when you're going out and even indoors wear an spf because even when you're indoors doesn't mean that the rays are not coming in as well so really protect yourself and if you can tell a woman's age immediately it's from her neck and of course her hands so this is a great way to start combating an aging neck okay tip number three might surprise you but avoid putting perfume on your neck yes you heard me right don't spray perfume on your neck shoulders wrist totally fine but don't put it on your neck because believe it or not once the sun is penetrating and all of the elements are hitting you and it can actually ultimately result in photo aging so what you might not see on the top right away there's a lot happening beneath the skin layers and the lower layers, and that's the problem because what happens is that's harder to reverse than anything that is topical. The photo aging can be extremely detrimental, and this is a great way to start, if you haven't been doing this already, avoiding putting perfume directly on your neck. Let's talk about the tech side of tech neck. Looking down at your cell phone can put a lot of weight on your neck, creating that back buffalo hump, while also putting gravity on your jowls and your neck folds. We don't want that. Stop looking down at your cell phone. The best way to handle your cell phone is via a cell phone stand or a gooseneck clip that can elevate your cell phone when you're talking. It'll keep you eye level, and it'll be a lot better for your neck, not only aesthetically, but certainly physically. If you've found that you do have a sore neck or you're having trouble sleeping, you've got headaches, it could have a lot to do with you having your head down all the time and this just might help you significantly and i know this because it actually helped me personally i was having a lot of trouble with neck pain and when i realized oh my gosh how much i was doing and i went to the chiropractor and he actually brought it up to me about tech neck which i found 
completely fascinating, but mind blowing. It made sense. So the next tip is raise your laptop or your keyboard at the very least and your monitor. So whatever you're wa working on. And you could do that a few ways. You could get the ever popular standing desk. This is a great way not only to keep your head elevated and eye level with your monitor, but it's also good for your back and standing periodically. But for the tech neck, it helps relieve that 100%. A laptop elevator is another great option. This is one that I just purchased for myself and it's been a game changer. Now, if we don't really have the ability to purchase those things right now, and I'll have links below at the most affordable options, you could always get an inexpensive lap desk. And this is mine. It's a bean bag like pillow with a desk on top of it. And it's really, really helpful in sitting on the couch. And again, if I'm on my phone or my iPad, I can elevate those and keep my head straight. Or before I got my laptop elevator, I actually used it as my elevator. So I sat it down on the beanbag side and put my laptop right on top. And that worked until my elevator came in. So it was very, very effective and maybe about $25. So it's a really, really inexpensive way to elevate your laptop and get you, again, looking straight ahead. It's particularly important during today's age with COVID-19 and quarantining and the world is opening up and we're, we're zooming. So when we're zooming, we wanna be looking straight ahead have the lighting and look professional and the best way to do that is with an elevated monitor so that tip will help you significantly and again hit the links below to find the one that works for you okay dolls now for your bonus tip I've attached two free downloads for you below in the description box. The first one is a set of exercises called the YTWL. And these four exercises were designed to not only improve posture, but to relieve neck pain, reverse buffalo hump, and maintain a great posture from here forward. And the second download is a set of tech neck stretches that will help relieve neck pain and help with your posture sitting straight up and looking forward. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you found something really useful in today's video, please leave a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.